Hi there, this is Jay here from Jeremy Jacob Letting Specialist. And today I would like to check in with a market report in the rental market and what we are seeing in London in July 2023. We have seen yet again a further Bank of England interest rate rise. We are now presently sat at 5%, which is the highest it's been in many, many years. And we have reported, as many institutions and estate agents, letting agents, that the rents have been going up. And they've been going up consistently now, ever since into the new year before the end of 2022. I'm seeing that rents are still going up, but there is some careful consideration that maybe we have been at a ceiling point for some types of property and assets in that they can only go up so much so high now and that they've met the point which is the right correct point for the market however what we are also seeing and is becoming quite a challenge and is becoming more evident is that with this these interest rates going up higher and higher owners landlords who are coming to and this is increasingly happening they, they, they are arriving to and have come to the end of their, their products on in terms of their mortgage. And they have been met with quite a stinger of a surprise because the interest rates have gone up and they've had to go into a much higher product that they are turning to us as the agents and saying, OK, I can see that the, the market has increased to this amount, but my mortgage has gone to this amount and I need this now. Now, of course, we can try in terms of representing our landlords. We want to get a rent which is appropriate for the market. But at the same time, we're having to have some challenging conversations with our landlords to say, look, there are good times and there, there are more challenging times. And the thing is, if, you, if we have a, a rent here, but your mortgage payment because of the interest rate and the product you're in has meant your outgoing is here. If we position the rent here, are we going to achieve it? Are we going to get enough tenant candidates coming forwards and choosing to rent your property? Ultimately, we need to fill your property with a tenant. And if we can't, then you have a vacant property and that's worse. So we are having challenging conversations now, which are becoming more evident with landlords that we need to be here and you might have to take a loss uh, temporarily. And, you know, this is the journey of being a landlord. You go through peaks and troughs. You have good moments, you have bad moments. And this is where you have to be considered and careful in terms of your portfolio management, especially if you're a landlord that owns multiple assets. Of course, if you're a landlord that only owns one or two, then having a good amount of equity in the property is going to safeguard you through this volatile period. So... Yes, it's, it's, it's not exactly straightforward. I think that uh, punditry has committed to saying that they believe uh, rents may be uh, up overall a further 10% by Christmas 2023. But this is the, the dilemma we as the letting agents are finding that we're having at the moment. We have properties that we feel have reached the ceiling. More tenants are moving more than ever, which means more property come back to the market, which is good. So. The, the challenges the tenants have had with the, the rental hikes by more property coming back to the market, it means that the rents uh, have needed to soften a little bit because of what's been going on. But then you have the loggerhead of the landlord's personal circumstances with the interest rates coming up. So this creates a bit of a tense situation at the moment. And therefore, I think what's ultimately happening is that some properties tenants are getting for uh, more accurate, correct right uh, rents a softening of prices, a recognition that the market has stabilized more now, but there are some properties where landlords need and strive for higher rents. So that's what we report in July 2023. We are in the summer market, it's the busiest time of the year, which is always good. And it's really encouraging to see that tenants are moving much more confidently than we have seen in a long time. So that's all for now, and I hope this check-in helps. All the best. Bye.